UAW President Sean Fain gave the signal just a short time ago, saying that for the first time ever, if a deal is not reached by 1159, the auto workers will strike all three companies at once by targeting each one plant at a time. Ford's Michigan Assembly Plant is one of those targets. That's the factory along Michigan Avenue in the city of Wayne. Fain has called for only the plant's final assembly and paint workers to strike. The second target is in Missouri. It's the General Motors Wentzville Assembly Center. That's about 40 miles west of St. Louis. And that leaves Stellantis. The final target for now, if no deal is reached, is the Toledo Assembly Complex. You may have driven by that plant if you've ever traveled south on I-75 through Toledo. Let's head back out to Jeff now at the Solidarity House, where Sean Fain is still looking to make some deals. If not, we could see him leave there shortly, Jeff. Yeah, Shana, for the first time ever, UAW President Sean Fain says the union employees will strike against the big three all at once. This has never happened before against Ford, General Motors, and Stellantis. And look, negotiations have been going on here at the Solidarity House the last 24 hours around the clock. But the bottom line is for the UAW, they believe they are still far apart on a deal. And Fain has indeed ordered a strike. Here's what he said within the last hour. Wentzville Assembly, local 2250 in Region 4 to stand up and strike. We're calling on Stellantis, Toledo Assembly Complex, Local 12 in Region 2B to stand up and strike. And we're calling on Ford, Michigan Assembly Plant, Final Assembly and Paint Only, Local 900 in Region 1A to stand up and strike. These three units are being called to stand up and walk out on strike at midnight tonight. Now, I caught up with a UAW worker today as he was hanging up this stand-up strike sign outside UAW headquarters. Batavian Wicks, an electrician of the Warren Stamping Plant, tells me he's among the 146,000 union employees extremely frustrated with where things stand tonight. And while he doesn't want to strike, he believes in this fight, and he is tired of being undervalued. And it was always a written, it wasn't written, but it was a verbal understanding that when we did better, we'd share. And their, their equation of sharing is a lot, a lot smaller piece of the pie for the actual people that put the car together. Again, now workers have been ordered at three plants to strike at the strike of midnight tonight against the big three automakers. Sean Fain believes doing it in stages will help keep the big three automakers guessing here. Others, meanwhile, that won't be striking are expected to go to work even though they do not have a deal. Again, he wants to keep the big three guessing. In fact, Sean Fain is expected to join the picket line tonight at midnight when he's expected to join the the picket workers at the Ford Michigan assembly plant. We will have much more throughout this evening as the UAW plans to strike against the big three. We're live outside UAW headquarters on Jefferson in Detroit. Jeff Skaversky, CBS News, Detroit.